Does scientific evidence support the idea that vegetable oils are more harmful than sugar, given their common use and concerning health statistics? In today's video, I will talk about a very important common fake advices that can have a huge impact on your health. His advices about the risks of vegetable oils is very dangerous, by distorting the facts on omega-6 fatty acids and unsaturated fats, it can make you think that their effects on death rates and health risks. Alright, as usual, I'll fact check each main point he made, based on scientific facts only. Let's start with his first claim. And so at the very top of the list, we have severe obesity can increase your risk of dying by 93%. Okay. Then we have heavy smoking, all right, 80%. And then look what we have right here, vegetable oils, 62%. This is the one that is worse than sugar. Now no scientific support that vegetable oils increase your risk of dying by 62%, as this specific statistic is not widely recognized or validated in scientific literature even though some studies suggest excessive intake of certain oils high in omega-6 fatty acids could contribute to inflammation and potential health issues. But his comparison with sugar oversimplifies complex nutritional interactions when it is essential to consider the type of vegetable oil and its overall role within your balanced diet. Now, as we come down below vegetable oils, we have physical activity, which is 48%, then heavy drinking, 41%, moderate smoking, which is 30%, and only 13% for excessive sugar consumption. And then we have processed meat, 11 He assigns specific percentage risks to factors like physical activity and sugar consumption without clear scientific evidence, as risk percentages for lifestyle factors are not standardized and vary across studies due to differences in methodology and population. For example, physical activity is generally associated with reduced health risks, not a specific 48% risk. And while excessive sugar consumption is linked to various health issues, quantifying it as a 13%. Risk lacks scientific consensus, plus the well-documented health impacts of heavy drinking and smoking are typically presented as increased relative risks rather than fixed percentages, so the lack of context or source for these figures undermines their validity. And you can also deduct from these numbers some other things, like every 5% increase in daily calories from vegetable oils correlates to smoking about seven cigarettes per day. All right, vegetable oils, seed oil, grain oil, legume oil. No. He misleadingly equates a 5% increase in calories from vegetable oils to smoking seven cigarettes daily, but no credible studies support this false comparison, as nutritional science is not linking in any way dietary impacts and smoking-related health effects with vegetable oils from seeds and legumes containing unsaturated fats that have distinct health implications from the known carcinogens in cigarettes. Okay, three lies and zero facts so far. Before we go on, how have vegetable oils and sugar affected your health? Share your thoughts in the comments. Next. Anymore. They use soy. Sometimes they might use sunflower oil. So the problem with these vegetable oils, extremely pro-inflammatory. They're going to create a lot of inflammation, especially if they're fried. Okay, you heat them. Vegetable oils are not inherently extremely pro-inflammatory, as scientific consensus on this is not complete. While some studies indicate that high intake of omega-6 fatty acids may contribute to inflammation, this effect remains inconclusive, and omega-6s found in oils like soy and sunflower can be beneficial when balanced with omega-3s. And the inflammatory potential of fried foods involves complex factors beyond just the type of oil, such as the formation of harmful compounds. During frying, with the overall dietary context and balance between different fatty acids playing crucial roles in determining inflammatory responses. Fats to the unsaturated fats, which is a huge, huge mistake. Saturated fats are very, very stable uh, with cooking. They can withstand high heats. You don't have the oxidation, you know, the... the Switching to unsaturated fats benefits heart health, as evidence shows they lower bad cholesterol levels and reduce heart disease risk, unlike saturated fats which increase LDL cholesterol and link to cardiovascular issues. While saturated fats are more stable at high temperatures, this does not make them healthier. And dietary guidelines recommend limiting their intake in favor of unsaturated fats for a balanced diet. Again, they might filter out some of the debris and some of the burnt uh, particles, but that's a tremendous amount of oxidation. All right, next point. Only severe obesity and heavy smoking are more deadly than vegetable oils. The idea that vegetable oils are more deadly than high blood pressure, diabetes, or high cholesterol is not supported by scientific evidence. 
While he is correct that excessive consumption of certain vegetable oils high in omega-6 fatty acids may contribute to inflammation and health problems, it's an oversimplification to suggest they are universally more harmful than other well-established risk factors. The reality is that the effects of vegetable oils on your health are complex and nuanced, depending on factors like the specific type of oil and the overall context of your diet and lifestyle. For example, olive oil is often linked to positive health outcomes. So we have six fake claims and zero real facts. Eric Berg's claim that vegetable oils are deadlier than sugar is baseless. Our fact check exposes his misrepresentation of evidence and misunderstanding of nutrition. Always remember, a popular video doesn't mean it's accurate. Thanks for watching, hit like and subscribe. Take care and keep the faith.